Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to talk about this HP Pavilion Desktop TP01-2234. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to upgrade the RAM, upgrade the hard drive, maybe do a power supply replacement, things like that. Some of the possibility might have happened to the computer, or just a little bit breakdown and show it to you what are the things that can be upgraded. All right, let's jump right into it. So the computer here looks like this. Uh, just a brief walkthrough in the back. You have the auxiliary jack on the top, VGA, HDMI for your monitor output. There are four USB here, Ethernet cable, and there's no external graphics card installed in here. And at the very bottom is your power supply. Okay, so when it comes to this side of the items, you want to lay it down on the table like such. So lay it down on this side of the table and this is the side panel where you can remove and take a look at the internal part of your computer. So I'll be using a flathead screwdriver or you can use uh, the right tools for this removal but the flathead should be okay to remove the screw. Alright, so once the screw is un unscrewed, you can slide the side panel to the left and lift it straight up to remove the side panel. Here is the internal part of the computer. I like to talk more about it, but before I do that, let me go ahead and remove some of the screw so that I can remove that little bracket here, the metal black bracket, so that you guys have a better view of what is in there. Okay, remove that tiny little screw here. And then just kind of lift it straight up. Mm. Kind of a little bit hard to remove, but that one screw should be able to kind of uh, easy for this black metal to remove, pop it to the, to the left. And once you remove that, this computer does not come with the optical drive. So you can see in the front, there's no CD drive here. So therefore I don't have to disconnect the optical drive. All I have to do is just kind of open up this little three clipper. Once the clipper is open, you can slide this front panel remove it by coming it off okay at this point here you can see that the internal part of the computer I'll turn it around at this point and let me zoom in a little bit so there's a better view here so here you can see that the M.2 drive is all the way at the uh, um, the bottom of the uh, the motherboard here, so that is the M.2 drive. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. Open up that, remove the screw. Once you remove the screw, the M.2 will just pop up at 45 degree angle, and you can slide it to the right to remove it. So this M.2 originally it comes with one terabyte. If you guys are interested to upgrade to two terabyte. Please feel free to do so and this is a Samsung M.2 okay now let's move on to the RAM but to get to the RAM I recommend to uh, remove this little bracket here so that it gives you a, a better more room to work with to remove that you need to remove this screw here Once you unscrew, this metal bracket, which you just lift it up and come right off. Okay, at this point, there are two RAM slots available on the desktop. One here, the first, and this is the secondary. To remove the RAM, all you have to do is to push the two white clipper away from each other. So push it down. And once it's open, you can remove the RAM by lifting straight up. 
So this RAM here runs on a PC4. PC4 stands for DDR4 and this is a 16 gigs of RAM. You can do 16 on RAM slot 1 and 16 on RAM slot 2. That gives you a 32 gigs of RAM. Alright, so let's jump right into the next part which is the CPU fan. To remove the CPU is very straightforward. All you have to do is just go ahead and remove the screw, unscrew. They don't come off, you just have to unscrew it. So when you hear that little clicking sound, that means you have reached to the very top and the screw will just stays on, it doesn't come off and you should stop at that point. Alright, once you have unscrewed, you can go ahead and disconnect that CPU connector, lifting it straight up and that is the CPU heatsink. You can upgrade to a third party if you would like, so you get a better heatsink, a better CPU fan performance. But I think with the Cooler Master, should be okay for regular home use. Now, here is the AMD processor. And uh, yeah, just going to remove by opening that up. And then you can lift up the, uh, M uh, the, uh, the AMD CPU. Okay, straightforward. It's just like that. To install, just lift it back in and then push this to close it down. So the computer is pretty much um, very simple and straightforward. And let's talk about the power supply. And if there was a power outage at home or something happened, the computer doesn't turn on, one of the things I would like to try would be changing out the power supply. Okay, so this power supply does not, well, let's talk about I know, I know that some of you might be very interested. Can I upgrade my graphics card because there's a PCIe slot here? Is it okay to install a graphics card? The answer is yes, you can do that. So, so you need to open up this bracket here and remove one of the metal, this metal piece, remove them, which align to this PCIe. Now, if you take a look at the power supply, it doesn't have PCIe connector for you. The only thing left is the SATA cable, which is only to power up hard drives or DVD drive. It doesn't have PCIe in this sense. Therefore, you can't have the uh, a, a strong graphics card to it. You, you can install a graphics card, but it has to be a low profile, meaning that the graphics card does not require 6-pin connector or 8-pin connector uh, power supply. This power supply does not support it, okay? So you just have to have a low profile graphics card. Something like this, hold on. So a low profile graphics card is something like this. I know this is just an example. Um, a graphics card that does not require any power from the power supply. It's strictly pulling up the power from the motherboard. So low profile like this is okay to install. But if you want like RTX 3040, or 4080, uh, those things is probably not gonna run. Okay, now let's talk about the power supply. Uh, this power supply is only dedicated to HP because you can see that the power supply cables, they are four pin connector here to the front and four pin connector here to the back. And then it has this output four pin coming out for the hard drive. So therefore, you can't really change a different power supply to, to get this thing started. It has to be dedicated for the HP. Now, if you have a bad power supply where you can buy the replacement, um, you might want to check with the model here. See if I can zoom in. So the model for this power supply would be HP L700 42-011. And this is a 180 volt power supply. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And if you have any question, just comment down below. I hope that um, I answer all of your questions. And again, if you do find this video is helpful, all I'm asking is just a smash of a like button. I really appreciate you for doing that. 
and uh, if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and again comment question down below i will answer any of your computer comments i mean computer questions in the comment and i look forward to seeing you thanks for watching until next time bye now